what are the more painful parts, hardest parts of becoming a true instrument of our Lord and of the Holy Spirit is, of course, dying to ourselves, dying to our ego, letting go of our ego. In other words, Bruce has to disappear. Bruce has to become invisible. And it's a slow and a painful process because as human beings, we crave attention, we crave affection, we don't want to be ignored, we like to be noticed, and we want to be loved. And the closer though you get to Jesus, the more you, you care less about yourself getting attention, but you want him to get the attention. In other words, you're dying to become one with him. You die so that you can truly live in him and he live in you. And I'm the first to say, you know, I'm not there. I'm not there because I still get hurt when I'm not noticed. I still get hurt, you know, if, if family doesn't pay me attention or so-and-so doesn't pay me attention. And, and But instead, I should be thankful when these things happen because it means I'm becoming more invisible. I'm not the center of attention of anyone's attention. I don't, definitely don't want to be the center of my own attention. So it's actually... A beautiful process it's a converted life-changing process so that he can use us any way he wants freely and so that we're not worried about what this person says about us we only worry about what they say about Jesus we only care about how much they love Jesus not how much they love us because here's 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 the benefit once we are truly one with Jesus, he gives us all that we need. He gives us all the love, all the encouragement, all the constant attention, and even praise. He'll say, that's a good job. Thank you. He does. And he will give you all the pats on the back you need, all the hugs you need. I'm not saying these things are bad, you know, to, to want them from a human but the more we die to ego, the less we care about it. And the more we just want the attention to go to Jesus. And I'm just grateful that I, I know he's doing it in his time and his way. But I, I trust he is working on me, that he is transforming me. He is changing me. And he is making me into that new creation for which this channel is named, because I do believe in it. There are some people that will hold you in a mold. They will only think of you as you were, and they don't believe in our Lord's transforming power. But I am telling you, it is absolutely true. I have a long ways to go, but I'm completely the opposite of the person I was I'll say 10 years ago. Yeah, even 10 years ago. Uh, and the person I was 20 years ago, well, he died a long time ago, okay? And it's like he never existed. And that's what I'm trying to say. We really do become a new person in Christ. And we live again when we really die to ourselves.